Hi, I'm Jana with the Mission Bend Branch Library, a part of the Fort Bend County Library System. Today we will be exploring the database Access Video On Demand. We will look at how to browse and search this database, and also how to set up a user profile which allows you to create playlists and share online content. Access Video On Demand is unique in that its content is almost exclusively videos. It contains over 140,000 videos on a variety of topics, including art, biology, home and how-to projects, technology, travel, and more. Access Video's homepage is designed for browsing. At the top is a carousel of featured videos, while beneath this are selected popular topics with a handful of videos on each topic. You can either use the directional arrows to scroll through the videos, or you can select the topic for a list view. Note that the Access Video On Demand logo at the top of the page acts as a home button, so from anywhere in the database you can always click on the logo to return to the home page. I also want to point out that Access Video includes the Fort Bend County Libraries as a popular category. So if you're interested in the different book talks, crafting programs, database and computer videos, ESL phrases, and more done by the Fort Bend County Library staff, you can find it here on Access Video. These are only a few featured videos and topics of the many thousands available. For a more comprehensive browsing experience, simply select the menu icon, and this will allow you to browse by subject, popular category, or featured producer. If we go to Subjects and select View All, this will give you a comprehensive list of the topics and subtopics available, as well as the number of videos available on each. Popular Categories is just a list of what is featured on the home page. And if we go to Featured Producers, select View All, this will give you a comprehensive list of the producers involved in uh, video content and you can also browse alphabetically. Returning to the menu, you'll see that Access Video also provides a calendar view. And this brings up a curated list of videos based on this moment in time. This includes videos about historic events, famous birthdays, different holidays, and cultural celebrations. As a librarian, I've used this calendar browsing feature when looking for ideas for a display or a social media post. This could also be a great resource for teachers or students looking for this day in history ideas or information. One last note about the menu, I want you to see that there's also a quick link to Access Videos Just for Kids site. As you can see, this is set up very similarly to Access Video um, with the caveat that the content is specifically for children. Now, if browsing isn't for you, Access Video also provides both simple and advanced search options. This search bar, as well as the advanced search option, will appear at the top of every page in Access Video. To perform a search, simply type a search term into the box, and you can see that Access Video will give you topic suggestions, or you can just do your own search. And here we have over 5,000 results that can be filtered in various ways, or you can sort by relevance, date, alphabetically, or by the most viewed. Let's take a look at the advanced search option. You can see that this option is going to allow us to combine search terms using the and or not operators. And of course you can add rows as needed. You can also filter by the different content types and depending on the content type you select, you'll have additional filtering options. And when you're ready, just select search. And you can see again, these search results allow you to filter or sort. The last thing I want to look at is how to set up a profile, which allows you to create and save playlists, and also to set up online classes, which will allow you to share your content with others. To log in, simply select your profile at the top of the page. 
If you're a first time user, you'll want to select sign up. And here you'll put in your name, you'll create a username, you'll select how you're using Access Video. Access Video also asks for an email address and you'll create a password. If you'd like, you can choose interests uh, or topics that you might be interested in, or you can sign up for notifications, and then you'll create your account. Once you've created your account, simply go to your profile and log in using the username and password you've just created. You'll be able to tell that you're logged in to access video because your name will appear here in the top right. Clicking on your name will allow you to see your content, classes, your profile and account settings, and this is also where you'll go to log out. Let's look at using your profile to create a playlist. So we'll do another search, and this time, as you can see, with all the videos that show up, you have the option to add to a playlist or your favorites. Now you can add this to your favorites, to a playlist, or to a class. Let's add this to a playlist. With some videos, you can see you have the option to add the full title or just to add individual segments. You can either add to an existing playlist or you can create a new one. We'll just go ahead and save this to our existing playlist. You can then go to your content and see that items have been added to your playlist. The last thing I want to look at is how to create a class. Let's go to our profile and select classes. From here you can see and manage any previous classes you may have created and you can also create a new class. You can select a grade level. If you'd like, you can give it a description. And once you've created your class, you can simply select invite students and you'll be given a code or a link that people can go to to see your content. And that concludes this overview of Access Video On Demand. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, be sure to check out our other database videos available on our YouTube channel and also on the Fort Bend County Library's website under the Research tab.